Good morning and happy Monday to you. Today is, believe it or not, April 5th. Did you have a good weekend? Did you enjoy the warm weather we had? Did you watch a baseball game or two? Did you get out there and uh, take a good run, ride a bike, uh, sweat? Did you take some time to really reflect on the true meaning of what this Easter weekend represents? I hope you did. Anyway, let's get to our topic of the day. Scary! The employer application for group health insurance. Last week it was the employee, now let's take a look at the employer application. And for those of you who are not employers, taking a look at this will give you a little bit of an idea of what your employer goes through so that way you can have health insurance. So employers, last week if you paid attention you saw the employee application. It wasn't all that frightening. We'll take a look at United Healthcare application. Same as the employee application, it is just simply four pages. That's it. So let's get going. Take a look at each page individually. So the employer application here, it's very simple. The top, there's general information. For you, your business, you have to request an effective date. And then look down here. You've got to talk about classes of employment. Do you have workman's comp? And are any people on COBRA? That's it. The next page, the top, is what coverage are being offered and who will be taking the coverages. And then once again, we're looking at the COBRA and health savings account information. Page three, the top. Different sizes of employers have different requirements. We take another look at the uh, COBRA and state continuing information. And then lastly, looking at your current carrier information. Most groups replace another group on what is referred to as a no loss, no gain basis. So that's important to know the previous insurance carrier. And lastly, page four. The top of the page is the blah, 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 blah stuff. But that's important. It's the terms and the conditions to make sure that you are representing yourself to the best of your ability and knowledge. That's important. And then the bottom part, you have to sign your application. And then lastly, agent information. So employer, those four pages were not that big of a deal, were they? Most insurance contracts have a lot of similar elements to them. Blue Cross Blue Shield, for example, can be 20 or more pages. National General, now they have a different type of a product. They have the partially self-funded and the self-funded products. They can be over 50 pages, 50 pages. But guess what? That's why you have me to help figure this thing out. So once it's all said and done, give me a call. It'll be easy peasy to you. And woohoo, now you have employee benefits for your group. Don't forget to see the number at the bottom of the screen, like and subscribe. Be more than happy to take care of you. So now, what happened last week here at the MLD agency? Well, we were able to get uh, several Medicare supplement policies issued with Aetna and Mutual of Omaha, and uh, one insurance company to be named Nameless had trouble getting their online applications for prescription drug cards. But we were able to get those taken care of, and one we actually had to drive out and have them sign paperwork. Uh, in fact, now I think about it, both of them, we actually had to have them sign paperwork because the uh, electronically adjust wasn't going through and all. We had uh, three people relocate. They're retiring to Kentucky, Missouri, and to Tennessee. Congratulations on leaving Illinois. You're retiring. The shame of it is, is they're leaving Illinois, all three for the very same reasons that they tell me. They can't afford to retire here and pay the taxes. So to our politicians here in Illinois, what are you doing? Come on, get on the stick. They're taking their retirement incomes and benefiting other states. Get on the stick and take care of the problems in Illinois. It's the greatest exodus since the Israelites left Egypt. Oh, and you know what? Because I have my ear to the ground. Uh, some of you employers with pharmacies, you better watch out what's going on too, because I understand that some of your 
pharmacy employees are going to be the next greatest exodus from your companies. So get on the stick. Take care of people. Come on. Until next week, take care.